Well, happy Monday, everybody, and welcome back to Farmstead. So I got through all of my uh, comments yesterday, and there was one that mentioned, and I should have wrote down who uh, asked it, but somebody mentioned about the potion of levativity here in farmstead so i figured why not show how to get it and then also i'm just doing a little cleaning here we can go and see what it does i think it makes you float above but see, I have the broom. So see, I float above. The broom you got the uh, this past Halloween. It was one of the uh, items you could get. Whoa. No. Oh, right. Oh, there we go. It's like, why is it standing there? Okay. So, how was your weekend? I hope it was good. Mine was short. We got stuff accomplished here at home. Uh, lawn mode. About like what I'm doing right now. I'm sickling all this. Ooh, look, it's a fishy. Fishy, fishy. Remember, make sure you keep a hold of that button, that left button on the mouse, until you see the bobber go down like that, and let go. And most of the time you'll get it. All right, so this is what makes Potion of Levativity. Oh, big enough, if you like any videos on the channel, give them a thumbs up. Want to comment down below? As you noticed, I do reply to those comments and I read them. So go ahead, comment on the video if you want to. And last but not least, if you haven't subscribed, Click that subscribe bell, tap, or click that subscribe button, tap on that bell for notifications. You want to know when we're doing a live stream or when the next video is out? That's the best way for to be informed is having your notifications on. So thank you everyone who has uh, supported the channel and subscribed. Right now we are less than, I believe, a hundred and less than 125 and we got like 25 videos or so till 500 so i'm hoping we make that thousand subs around the 500 video wouldn't it be cool to do the 500th video be when we made the uh 1000 subscribers plateau so but i can't do it without all of you so thank you everybody all right Let's get back to this. I'm like, that's around here. I'm recording this one in real time at lunch here today. It's around almost noon. And we'll get it all set up so you guys can watch it today. So, if you click F here, you have the Potion of Levativity. And you have the Potion of Giants. Potion of Giants makes you bigger. I think I did a video on that one. And you can see down below here on it, it says, provides a boost, size, it's a three. This one is Levativity for three, provides a boost. So what we need, we need to collect some cave mushrooms. We need to collect some worms. We need to collect some brick and some concrete. So this is all that we need. So to do these, oh, I don't want them right down. So to do this, you're going to need a concrete mixer. And then all you find those at is if you go to it's a build. 
and you look at functional wait right here shop C C for shop you need to have a blueprint so if you go to functional should be in that because it provides a function it does something for us so if you look through here you should find a concrete mixer yeah, I still got some stuff I need to all right let's see here concrete mixer probably past it concrete mixer right there because it's, it's raised up or it's back a little bit further all right so you need 500 coins to buy the concrete mixer so when you get the concrete mixer you just go ahead you'll have like this you'll have a blueprint and then you just click on it like if i wanted this training post here and then it's going to show like that but you'd have it with the concrete mixer so let's go ahead and we're not going to do that so we're going to back out of this as a b this b okay so once you get your concrete mixer you're going to want to have some concrete well let's get all these picked up here all right so if you go to it uh, uh, well, maybe it's not going to show is it okay well it takes rocks so in order to get rocks yep you're gonna have to have a pickaxe <laughs> so the cool thing is is the regular pickaxe i believe when you first start you can do it so what you gotta find is rocks like these and then you just hit them All right item added rock so if you look at my backpack which is e you can tell that i have 31 rocks so let's just go ahead and go over there this is an in depth of how to use it. See, the problem is, is if you did not get this cauldron over Halloween, you're not going to be able to make a potion of levativity or the potion of giants. Because if you look over here and cook, this is just the chef's stew pot. They don't have that one. At least I don't think so. Let's check real quick again. Was that C? Oops, that's exclusive shop. I think this is just, yeah, this is just for the ones. Um, let's go to build again. Let's go to C for shop. I don't believe um, be cauldron. Okay, what's this one? Suspicious cauldron. I think this one is not functional, though. See, here's the functional chef soup pot. Yeah, suspicious is not. That's just a decor. You have a decor, you're going to find probably the suspicious cauldron somewhere here. That's a kettle tub. Do, 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 do. Wow, there is a lot of stuff. There we go. Suspicious cauldron. Right there. Looks suspicious. So, so yeah. So let's get back to all this. So once you, uh, oop, let's exit out of that. Once you get the rocks, if you click on, let's see here, I got an E, we're going to have to move it over to there. And I click on those. Now you see I can add it, and it takes five. So I can fill it. Oops. Fill that one. That one. And that one. All right, so it takes a minute to do, uh, to create the concrete. Now, if you go and you got your crafter's table, or you can go into um, travel and you can visit the town. If you did not buy your own crafter's table, you can go into town here and just go straight back. And over here is also... A, well, builder's table is what they call it. I call it crafter's table. So this is the same, but like at home, um, you'll need four concrete to create four brick. So remember, we need a both. So let's go ahead and go back home. All right. And look, they're all done. So let's just go ahead and collect them. Okay. Oop. I 
if I remember right, we need five of each. So we're going to make some bricks. So let's take the concrete to the brick. Let's craft it. The crafted brick. Now, if you go to our backpack, you will see that we have, there's our concrete. There's our brick. So you can see I've already done some of them. So let's go ahead. And if you go back to here, the green means that we have them. So we have concrete, we have brick, we don't have worms, we don't have cave mushroom. Now the cave mushroom, this is where you're going to have to, I hope you have everything unlocked. So what I mean by unlocked right here is the forest where you start. Your first area to unlock is the plains area, which is over here. And then you go and you do the mountains. Which is up here. And then you do the tropics. Which is... Woo! Over here. Create this. And here's the tropics. And the reason why I say this is at the end of the tropics here, you have to collect like oysters and scallops and everything. There's a scallops over here. I don't know if I have all of them showing. So there's a scallop. There's an oyster. You got to have a sand dollar. I'm not seeing no sand dollar right hand. Oh. All right, so you gotta have those. The reason why you gotta have all of those is you have to go to Karis Tower, which is in town. <laughs> all right. Karis Tower is around the bend here, or you can go around the other side here, but right there is Karis Tower. You have to have, you have to look back, but I want to say it's got to be like the amount of 30, I think. If you go into right here, my progress, see how these, I have 15, 10, 8, 7, 5, 5. I think you have to have a total of 30. The total amount. So you can have like 10, 10, no, 5 and 5 or something. I think to get in here. But you have to... Only the most skilled farmers can enter the guild tower. So enter. And in here, you're going to see clear back, sort of hidden back here. You got another crafter's table, but this is where you make dynamite. So here's what you need. You need to have maple syrup, you need a scallop, oyster, the conch shell, and then the sand dollar makes a dynamite. The reason why I say that, after you get the tropics unlocked, then you have to go blow up where the mine's at, so you can get into the mine area. That's where you find the cave mushrooms. So they're over in the mountains. We'll head that way. Because I need a couple more items here. We need the that and what else do we need? I can't remember. Oh, we we'll get this first. So here, let me try to zoom out. Try to get in the area. I got so many, so thick with trees here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if you go over here and you see the stairs, right there. It's like behind the stairs, like in this corner. Or you can just keep coming through where you first came in, which is over here. And you just keep going straight back. But this is where you have to pull up the dynamite. Now, if you're not at those levels, I believe like somebody with like my level can come in, get the dynamite and blow it up for you. So here are the cave mushrooms. So let's just go ahead. It doesn't have to be just this color. They're all the same. If you look at my backpack, right there, six. Oh, we need worms. That's what it was. We only have one. Wow. Okay. All right. 
So let's just grab a few more. I think it was, what, only maybe five, but let's make sure we have like 10. Okay. Oh. Grab a couple more just to be safe. All right. Let's go ahead and go back out here. We're almost to getting the potion of levitability. We just need another worm. So to get worms, it's rocks. So sometimes when you're doing these, you'll get the rock. See, that's just rock. Uh, the smaller rocks sometimes have them. Let's see if I can find. There's some small rocks right there. Oh, we just got rock. 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 Oh, where's the worms at? You just gotta have to keep breaking rocks until you see worms that are at it. Let's go ahead. It could be because we're in the mountain. Oh, here's maple syrup, by the way. You have to be in the mountains area for that in a certain level. Might be this area. Let's go down here. Guys, I'm looking for some. Hmm. Well, we might be able to do this. There we go. See, it says one worm. All right, let's go back because I think we only need two. Worms give you a better chance of collecting the fish. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. A brew. We need five. Oh boy. All right. Um, 85. I am just going to drop this one. We're going to drop this here. If you drop items and somebody comes into your base, they could take them. So, uh, I'm right now playing in a private server, so just to be aware of all that. As we're looking for worms. Sometimes you get them with the bigger ones. Worms, where you at, Mr. Worm? Oh. The time when I need worms. And sometimes you'll have them on your fisher pole. Right. Oh. Um. We don't have them because it shows. Oh, it would be... F. Let's see here. So you can take them and you can pull them into that one. I was hoping that we had them, but we don't. I'm pretty sure I don't have... Normally I keep those on me. Let's just bounce over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll find some in the tropic area. All these fish that are floating. Just ones I haven't picked up. My goodness, we need three more. Come on, wormies. Wow. There's a worm. Cool. We should have had two for that one. All right, another worm. Okay, it looks like the bigger ones are... Okay, I spoke too soon. We should need one more. Come on, one last worm. I don't want to go with these because these have the copper, gold, or... Let's 
There is more area stuff now. You can get boats and that. And there's, we'll have to do some of that too. Oh my goodness. Not that big one they give me. Come on, big one. be able to make lots of uh, concrete and bricks oh there's a sand dollar oh yeah they're like one of the more rare ones the, the sand dollar and the conch shell so if you see them when you're in through the tropics you know like how I I don't play it every day uh, get them picked up there we go worms all right let's check out our backpack five okay Let's get over here and get this wrapped up so you can see what the potion of levitivity does. Or levity? I think it's levitivity. Levitivity, potion of levitivity. 20 minutes, not too bad. It's not on that top, but we'll have to wait a, a few minutes here. Okay, brew. We have it all. Potion of levitivity. Let's brew it. Oh, oh man, we got 10 minutes. Uh, all right, we're going to leave it. I think I have one. Let's go check my check my backpack. Ocean of Levativity. All right, so we don't have to wait for the whole thing, but that's how you get it. And remember, if you don't have that cauldron... You're not going to be able to create these. You'd have to actually, like, get it off of somebody else. So, the potion of levitivity. Wow, we've got a lot of rocks. Okay. What did I just pick up? Oh, I picked up that. That fuse. What do I need to use? Oh, milk. Um, E. Do I have milk? Milk you get, there's your butter. Milk you get with uh, cows. And they're up in my plains area. All right. So let's put this away. Are you ready? Potion of levitivity. Drink. Activate it. Okay. So you don't float. But look at my jumping abilities. It gives that whole jump kind of thing. See, it looks like um. Okay. I wonder if I can. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I got it. I don't think I did. I sort of got that. So it doesn't make you float. It just. Well, let's see here. Oh, could you? Oh, my goodness. All right. That's the pictures I need to take is up here on the. There we go. You can't hit your mouse button or your space bar to like do a double jump. But 
that's where it is. So I don't know for sure if it's. I mean, we can. Don't have to go all the others. We can go through the treetops. But there's really nothing that you need to get higher up. We can. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that. I mean. <laughs> I like that one best. So yeah, uh, with that being said, thank you for never actually. Should we check that little area out over there? Let's go ahead. We'll do that before we head it. Thank you all for taking the last 25 minutes out of your day, your Monday, to hang out with the live dresser here. And Farmstead. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Get back up. Get back up. All right, that one. Goes to that one. Goes to that one. I don't know. There might be something over there. I guess I never... I've never explored the tops. Whoops. I mean, I've jumped up top before. Um, that one's not allowing me to. This one does. Oh, we jumped over it. Okay. There we go. Oh, is there something up here? I've never been up on the top rock. All right. Uh... Whoa, that's, that's the cave. All right, there you go. Something you learn a little bit new. What do we got over here? Oh, look, it's the end of the map. And wait a second, what is that? Is that more the cave? Should we try it? Why not? Ooh. Oh, we've expired it. Oh, wait. Remember when I told you about... Oh, man. I need some more levitivity. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. Remember when I told you about where I hoped they could open up the area for something new? This would be where it would come out at from the cave area. So there you go. Pushing levativity. You can explore around the map. You might find some cool things like this and ideas what they might do in the future. But right now it looks like that's it. It's the end of the road. So thank you all for spending a little time with the live dresser here. The last 30 minutes of this time enjoying some farmstead and showing how to get the potion of levativity and bouncing around the map on the treetops to see where we end up remember get out there do those things that inspire you make you feel good inside and put a smile on your face because you being here you going and clicking that subscribe Watching my videos, commenting, they put smiles on my face. So, and don't forget, you, you're amazing. All of you. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.